Chilly one to start oh. the day this morning, I tell you. It was uh, it woke you up quick. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, yeah. Refreshing, absolutely. Yeah. And I noticed that there weren't a whole lot of air conditioning humming, humming going yeah. over the weekend, too. A uh, cooler weather is moving in, and it looks like it's going to stick around, too, uh, through the trick-or-treater forecast for tomorrow night. So looking pretty good for all the kids out there, the ghosts and goblins. Uh, Casey Key webcam showing clear skies that there are hardly any clouds to be found across the state, which is a rarity. Uh, usually you see some cloud here and there. And again, it looks like clear skies overnight will allow that temperature temperature to plummet down into near record territory. We're expecting lows into the mid 40s in some places. Again, some key cities, uh, Northport, uh, right around 43 to start things off tomorrow morning, and 45 in Inglewood, Venice, 46, Mayaka City, 43, and in Lakewood Ranch, 46 degrees. Braden will be right around 47 and a little bit warmer near Anna Maria. Water temperatures, though, have cooled in the low 70s, so it'll give it a little bit uh, warmer conditions out there near the water. Now, as far as the radar picture goes, no rain uh, expected throughout this week, for that matter. So it looks as though it will stay dry uh, through uh, the early part of uh, November. 66 degrees right now and clear skies. The humidity is now very low at 26%. The high today was uh, well below the average of 82, uh, 68. The high temperature, 91 the record, and the low this morning was 49, just a few degrees shy of setting a record for this morning. And no rainfall to report today for the month now 2.65 inches and for the year well above average. And the forecast uh, for Tuesday looking spectacular. High temperatures in the low to mid 70s under sunshine throughout the afternoon and into the evening. We'll look for clear skies as far as the enhanced satellite imagery goes in the tropics. Just a month and a day before the official end of this unbelievable 2017 hurricane season. It, it will go down to the history books, obviously. You can see uh, we're watching uh, not much going on here. The tail end of that front, always a place to watch uh, this time of year. There's an area of low pressure way out here in the Atlantic that has a chance at 40% of developing into the next storm. And if it were to do so, it would take off to the northeast. That's what happens with storms in the Atlantic this time of year. Uh, they'll develop, and then fronts will come by, pick them up, and carry them off to the northeast. But it's the ones down south that we have to keep an eye on. And it's a very rare to see a storm in November, but this uh, season has been a very rare season. Well, the future cast not showing much for us. We'll see a few clouds down again tomorrow late afternoon, but generally fair skies through the night. And then a frontal system and a low-pressure area approaching from the southern plain states will try to move in, but have not much, not have much success doing so as it will uh, kind of fall apart before it reaches us. Uh, over the northeast and throughout the Great Lakes, a couple of areas of low pressure uh, causing some snow and rain mix. Kind of a gloomy day in parts of Michigan, also into Toronto, Buffalo, getting some rainfall there mixed with some snow and rain over parts of Wisconsin and Minnesota. Very chilly weather into the 30s now. Denver, 33 there. Minot, North, North Dakota, 30. 34, Minneapolis, 42 in Chicago. Still warm out west. Phoenix at 84. For boaters tomorrow and for the rest of this week, it looks like pretty good boating conditions. A light chop on the bays and then waters the seas running two feet or less. The water temperature has really chilled out now. The UV index will be high tomorrow despite the fact it will feel cool. There's still a lot of incoming solar radiation, so look out for that. 74 degrees uh, for the area beaches for highs. High tide at 1031. Uh, that'll be this evening and the uh, sunset 648. And clear skies tonight. Cool 48 for a low and mid 40s well inland. And the extended forecast is calling for nice weather tomorrow. Beautiful, dry and northeast winds at 5 to 10. The expected forecast looking good for Halloween, uh, mostly fair, and it looks like sunshine right through the weekend and Monday. Remember to fall back one hour before you go to bed Saturday night. That's right, time change. So